Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and in this video I will be going to cover a concept which I got from my client known as how to implement a setup masking calendar in ClickView. This master calendar can be used with both ClickView and ClickSetup. So in this video I am going to configure same in ClickView. If you want, you can try same in ClickSense as well. So first, let's try to understand what is master calendar and then we'll see how to set it up. So master calendar is nothing. It's simply a table which contains a time period and time attributes, which we would like to include additionally in our data visualization, which is naturally not available with original data set and it can be linked with our ex existing data. Now let me show you it practically. So for this I'm using a sales data set. So I click on create a new click view document. First of all let me save this file on my desktop as demo. Now I'm going to load edit a script and simply I load the data. So for this I'm loading into a new data and I give name as main data. And here the data file which I'm going to use is a sales data set. So let me load that sales data set here. So I click on and load sales data. Yeah, that's the data I'm looking for. And embedded labels. No, I think that was not this one. That's another one. So let me cancel it and load the data again. It's a data set. Yeah, that's the sales data set and open it. Now, as you can see here in this sales data set, if you carefully check this, you will find out that the dates are not in order. For example, we have sales of one, one, then we have sales for two, and if I scroll it down, then we have sales for after two, we have sales for 10. So it means we are skipping the data set here, it means we are skipping the dates. So first of all, let me load the script and give this name as sales data set. Save it, reload it. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to add the order date in a list box. And in order date, you can see the dates are skipped. We have one, two, then it directly jumped to 10, 11, 12, 13. After 13, it directly jumped to 22, 23, 24, and so on. So basically, it's a few dates are skipped. So this is with all the years. So we have four consecutive years, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have four consecutive years, 9, 1, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are some dates missing in all the date, in all the years. So if I create a simple line chart out of by using this data, so let me do that. I simply create a line chart and in this line chart, I use my, I set my dimension as order date and my expression will be sum of sales. Paste, okay. And I'll set this as total sales and finish it. Now, as you can see here in this, the dates are missing. So basically the chart will not be a proper chart because the dates are not in appropriate order. So let me do that. Let me change, set the axis and we have the axis. And if I just move this up, you can see it's in a proper order. One more thing which you can check here that we do not have year or quarter year, month or quarter fields. So one way of doing that is we can click on edit a script and we have order date. So manually I can create two fields. So we have a, we have a function called year and I would like to get year from order date. And rename it as sales year, sales year sales year order date as sales year and then I want month so I will go with month order date as as single quote sale 
month. So basically, we are renaming it. So I'll just save it and reload it. And OK. Now we have sales year and sales month. So I add sales year and sales month. OK. So we have year and month. Now, if I filter it, let's suppose I select year 2009 and I select January. So you can see the dates are not consecutive. The dates are missing in the month of January. Same in the month of February. The dates are missing in the month of March. The dates are not the dates are not consecutive. So I would like to have the such kind of functionality which will help me to display uh, to display the dates between the maximum and the minimum and the maximum range even though the records are not available or data will not be available to uh, date the data is not available for those time period so here we can use master calendar so master calendar can be used to solve this problem so before we actually apply this so let's have a look how to apply or how to uh, define a master calendar in a script so i have already a ready ready to use a script so i'm going to copy paste the script and uh, you can also use the same script because the script would be same only thing is we have to make a couple of changes into it i will be going to explain the script step by step so that you can understand it so i click on edit a script and what I'm doing is I'm going to add a new tab and give name as master calendar and OK. And here the script which I'm going to load is so I'll just add the script. So that is the script. Now, as you can see here, first of all, we'll be doing the quarter mapping because we will we'll be requiring the quarter. So this quarter map will load the based on the number of rows it will add the quarter mapping so it will auto generate the quarters quarter one quarter two quarter three quarter four based on the records so it will add the quarter so q as quarter then there's a temporary table which will load the data between the uh, from the order date so it will it will find it will figure out the minimum date and the maximum date because we would like to generate the dates the missing dates so first uh, so for that we should know we need to figure it out what are the what's the minimum date and what's the maximum date and because i would like to apply it on order date so that's why i said it as order date i want to get it for order order date if you want to know for sales date or any other date you are looking for so you have to copy paste you have to rename the field and make sure whatever field you will be mentioning that should exist so order date i so as you can see here we have order date and there's a space between it so very first thing what i'm doing is i'm going to make this as comment because i'm not going to use it and i alias it as order date without space and if i simply let me do one thing first of all may let me cut this i will be adding it again and when we when i reload it when I reload and close it, you can see uh, it's the date is not available. So I'll just copy this and select for order date. And OK, so we have the order dates. Definitely the year and month is not available because we have. We have uh, we have make them come in. If you want to keep them, you can go for them. No worries. If you want to keep them, you can use them. So we have order dates sales and sales month now let's get back to a script master calendar and uh, i'm going to paste it so you see we have uh, ordered now this label should be same as minimum date because we are managing we are figuring out the minimum and the maximum order date so i copy this order date from here and uh, paste it although i have mentioned it correctly but just to make sure that every, there would be no issues so I'm just pasting it. Then I created two variables, the where min date and maximum date, and it will figure out the numbers. It will turn into numbers and store into the variables. And because now we uh, we have got the minimum date and the maximum date in stored into variables, so I would not be requiring this stamp table. So I drop the table stamp here. I'll just mention it. Drop stamp 
table. Then I created a new script that is loading the calendar because we'd be this is this will help us to generate basically this will be an iteration and this will generate the missing dates between the minimum and the maximum date. So I write a script here load dollar minimum date plus so it's an iteration and it will keep moving it will keep going on until and unless it will be less than maximum date so it starts with minimum date and ends at the maximum date so it keeps iteration the iteration will goes on and it will figure it out the missing date so basically the dates will appear in a sequence like we have one two three four five six seven eight nine is missing so it will generate one two and then the missing dates will appear along with the month and the year then this is the actual script now it, uh, i have generated i have figured out the year month day year to date year to date as a last ytd current ytd in year date month start app so week and weekday if you are not interested in all these uh, data set means all these uh, variables all these fields you can skip them and you can figure it out only week year and month or if you are interested in days you can keep the date uh, less if you are not requiring YTD or LTD you can skip them now one one more thing camp date as order date so it should be mapped so I'll just copy this again and make sure that this would be mapped with this order date paste it order date and order by temp date ACC and and finally we'll drop it so basically we are mapping this with the order date we are mapping this with this particular order date and uh, now if I simply reload it I simple save it and reload it so it will throw an error message because right now at present it will throw an error message let me show you the error message it says that table not found so it's not looking for the sales data basically the order date the minimum and maximum of order date would be uh, would be extracting from a data set and the data set we have is the data set name is we have renamed this data set as sales data set so I, I copy this data set and paste here so these are the small small things which we have to keep in mind you have to make sure that the minimum and maximum days which we like to generate so we need to provide the data set name and also the column name so basically this is called binding so we are binding it with the data set we are binding it with the data set now if i save and reload it so we will have you can see sales data set has been loaded a quarter map has been generated and temporary data set has been generated temp calendar and master calendar now before showing you the script before actually showing you the list box and uh, visualization first of all let me show that table structure now if you look at this table structure we have this sales data set and there is one master calendar table attached with this sales data set and this master table contains the values for the respective fields order date week year month day current ytd flag last ytd rc12 month year quarter week year and weekday now we can simply use it and as you can see here just look at the difference that's the or just look at the order date now you can see previously we have one two and it directly jumped to ten but now we have all the skip dates as well one two three four five six seven eight and we have this the the dates which we skipped we have all the dates in our uh, in our list box so now there would be no chance for skipping any date and even though you are not operating you are not doing any sale on that date still we can include that date in the uh, in our chart and if uh, so let's have a look how to uh, we have to do a little bit customization because this chart uh, we are using order date so I'm just renamed uh, I just uh, remove this and set the order date again and expression i'll simply say okay and apply and you can see we have some of sales now if i select 2009 and month of january so we have the sales for complete date one two uh we have to rename it actually so what we have to do is we have to 
because right now it's skipping so i'll just go to access and click on continuous and in continuous it will show us all the records so we have the records and definitely there it will uh, because of the labels coming like this but when we click on 2009 we ha will have all the dates 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and so on so that's how we have the dates that's how we can use or how we can apply master calendar in so that's all in this video i hope you got an idea how to apply master calendar in ClickView. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bisptraining.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on ClickView or you can connect with us for the customized training on ClickView or ClickSense. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.